What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Toxic Croak for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to this Pokemon, we don't really get to see it too much on the ranked ladder, considering not a lot of people use it, and it's not considered a meta Pokemon. But let me tell you, Toxic Croak is still the real deal. It's got Dry Skin as its ability to pair up with our Rain Setter Politoed. It's got Citrus Berry as yet another way to recover HP. And it's got Taunt, Drain Punch, Poison Jab, and Sucker Punch. So it's got two stab moves, it's got first turn priority, and three ways to heal itself. You got Drain Punch, you got the Citrus Berry, and you got its ability. So Toxtroak is going to be a great Pokemon in the rain today. Speaking of being good in the rain, we got Salamence. Now Salamence, not technically a rain Pokemon, but it has Hurricane, which is a big time stab move of its that lands 100% of the time in the rain. Salamence also has Intimidate with the Life Orb, and then it's got Draco Meteor Protect and Tailwind to go alongside with Hurricane. Our rain setter for today's video is going to be that Politoed. Politoed's got Drizzle with the Wakan Berry so it can soak up an electric shot. It's got Weather Ball, Earth Power, Haze, which works super well in this format, and then Protect as its final move. Our final three Pokemon go out to King Gambit, Cliff Fable, and Rillaboom. Rillaboom doing Rillaboom things. I'm not explaining Rillaboom anymore. Cliff Fable, nice little support Pokemon that can actually do some nice damage with Moonblast. And we got King Gambit, which is great for uh, countering Intimidate Pokemon, such as obviously Incineroar. But this Pokemon can also pack a punch with its moves such as Iron Head, Sucker Punch, and Contact Leave. So King Gambit just a solid Pokemon all around. Guys, run around the scene for yourself. Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one showcasing Dry Skin Toxic Crew. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against two Intimidate Pokemon, which kind of leads me to just want to lead King Gambit. And I think I'm going to do that. They got Hisuian Arcanine, Tauros. On top of that, they got Clefairy for support. Rillaboom, Palmat, and King Gambit just like us. So I'm going to end up leading my King Gambit. I think we're going to bring like Politoed maybe in the back end here. But I think also leading a Pokemon maybe like Rillaboom here would be solid. Or I'd rather lead a Pokemon maybe like Arcanine. Or not Arcanine, Salamence. But it, it is special attack and they, again they do have two Intimidate Pokemon. Um, plus this thing does have Protect. They have two Fake Out users which is kind of scary. I don't really want to deal with Fake Out. I also have Tailwind, which could be good. So I'm going to go Salamence. I am going to go King Gambit. And then in late game slot, we're going in with Toxicroak and we're going in with Polyton. Let's get after it. I'm liking this. So match number one on its way. I wonder what they're going to lead here. Again, I'm really hoping an Intimidate Pokemon. But it's it was Thursday yesterday. By the time I'm recording this, this video is going to go out Saturday. But last night, I watched Thursday Night Football. You guys know I got a fantasy team. Tell me how my running back put up 0.3 points. I had Ramondre Stevenson. That guy's a dog. He averages like 20 plus rushes a game. They only gave him the ball six times. The Jets did eat him up, but come on, man. 0.3 on a Thursday night for fantasy football really hurts the soul. Really hurts the soul, but I'm still projected to still have a shot. I'm only projected to lose by like five to eight points, I think. So hopefully my boys on Monday Night Football can come up clutch for me because I got Kincaid and uh, Jamar Chase. He's got to get going. Jamar Chase got to get going. It's about time. It's about time. But I just totally forgot that I was trying to Defiant Pop here, and I ended up leading Salamence and Defiant Pop in him. That is just a terrible move on my end. That is just a terrible move on my end. Okay, so from here, I mean, I could, like, just protect. I mean, all my moves are really bad here. We're just going to have to hard swap you into, like, into Polytoad here. So I'm going to go into Polytoad. And I am just going to protect here. Because I know Fake Out is launching into this slot. So I'm going to go into Polytoad. I'm going to save my King Gambit. Really bad play from us, to be honest, in the beginning. I was sitting there. I was like, just like, okay, they're probably going to go into Intimidate. So I'm going to go King Gambit. They did exactly what I wanted to do to them. To me. But uh, Drizzle's going to come out here. We are just going to protect our lovely little settlements. I could see him doubling down into this slot. Which I'm really hoping. And he's just going to drop a close combat here, which we actually soak up. Oh, wow. Crit. Really? Really a crit there? No fake out? We don't like that one bit. No fake out? Really? Not cool. And Caltech, they double down in this slot. They really double down in this slot. At least I'm able to set the range. So now I can bring out my boy, uh... I can bring out my boy, Toxic Rogue. So we'll save King Gambit for a late game. We're looking to bounce back here. Um, I like I like the Pokemon that we have on the field here. I mean, Drain Punch is going to work wonders. I could set up a Tan one if I want to, but... Obviously, Drain Punch is in our best interest. I'm going to go Drain Punch. I am going to rip a Hurricane. You're probably going to go into close combat here. Let's be honest here. Hopefully, they don't go into a Terror type. Let's see how this one plays. Because we're going to Drain Punch. We're going to Hurricane. We're going to look for some big time damage here. Because, again, we already made a little rough play with uh, 
defiant boost in this thing. But we're gonna see what he wants to do. He's probably just gonna attack this. Uh, he's going for an encore. He's gonna fail. He went for an encore that turn. Encore launches. Hurricane lands, which is gorgeous. Big time damage brings you down to one. And you're gonna focus ash up. So focus ash is here. And do I just sucker punch Palmot? He might terrestrialize. I could hands down see a terror popping out here. So I think we'd rather just go for a sucker punch here. Do we think he's gonna swap? There is a chance of him swapping. Into an Intimidate Pokemon. I say we stick with the Drain Punch. And we go for Tailwind this turn. Just in case of swap. We're gonna do this. Sucker Punch launches. Wow, you're gonna double down into my boy here. Eat my berry. I got a berry going. I got a berry right here. So berry gonna pop here. Definitely gonna help us out a little bit. We got the rain going. Palmot shouldn't be able to KO me with close combat. We got double shock though. This is gonna do some damage. We soak that though. Awesome. Gorgeous. We love that. He loses his electric type. Drain punch. Or Tailwind's gonna fly first. Then drain punch is gonna go, which is huge. Should pick up the KO, no problem. Onto King Gambit. Bop. One HP, really? You're not even focused, Ash. And I get back a ton of HP. Plus, Dry Skin's gonna give me some more HP. Alright, cool. So, they're sitting here. Um, I got Sucker Punch ready to roll. Who do I think is attacking? I honestly think you might protect. So, I'm just gonna go into this slot with uh, Sucker Punch. And I'm just gonna Hurricane this slot. So, we got Tailwind for a couple turns. Let's see how this one plays. He's gonna end up with Paul Palmont. Oh, man, that hurts. That really hurts. And who are you going to go out into? Intimidate Pokemon? Nope, Clefairy comes out here. And he's going to protect King Gambit. So we have legit a nothing turn right here. A nothing turn. Sucker Punch launches. It's going to fail. Alright. So I mean, if they use Sucker Punch, they use Sucker Punch. We're going to get back some more HP. But I think from here, we're just going to launch Hurricane into the King Gambit slot. Try to finish that off. And I think just Poison Jabs will play, right? The Strain Punch is going to be not very effective there. So we'll Poison Jab this slot. We will look to go for a hurricane here. We got Tailwind for a couple turns, which is good. But again, I could just see like a follow me flying out here. Palmot's in the back end on one HP. I'm super surprised at this. Uh, that this King Gambit was able to soak up that Drain Punch on one HP. That's a little ridiculous, right? So it kind of seems like they might not have an Intimidate Pokemon. But a Terror Type's going to fly out here from probably Clefairy. Most likely Clefairy. No, King Gambit's going to go into this. Into the dark type. So I guess he's looking for big time damage with Sucker Punch. Is, is that your play? Or are you looking for Kowtow Cleave damage and a follow me? Options, options, options. Kowtow Cleave damage, it looks like. So follow me flies out here. Chances are we are just going to get rid of this Clefairy here. Hurricane and Poison Jab should be able to do the trick. Look at that damage. That's some beautiful damage. And we get and we get the, what's it called? The Ducks. The Ducks. But it don't matter. You're dead anyway. Poison Jab going to launch. Later, Clefairy, we get rid of that, and how many turns left in Tailwind? Maybe one? Maybe one. So there's the Kowtow Cleave. Can you soak this Toxic I hope you can. He is plus one, though. We do soak it. Not very effective, but still, the soak is huge. The soak is huge. So now from here, one turn left in Tailwind. We could go for a Sucker Punch into that slot if we want to, but I think he's going to protect. I'm not going to sit here and, and lie about it, but you can fake me out. You could fake me out. How dare you? I could hard swap and just keep him. Maybe just go into King Gambit. King Gambit not a bad player, but the problem is like I I want the rain. <laughs> we got two, we got two moves that that don't really land too much. I think he might fake out here. I'm gonna go into King Gambit. So I'm gonna hard swap into King Gambit, and from here, huh? I don't want to go for Draco Meteor. We're just going to go for Hurricane and hope it lands. We're going to get rid of uh, Palmont. We're going to get rid of Palmont. That's the, that's the plan here. We're going to get rid of Palmont. They might just fake out my Salamence here, though. The King Gambit flies out here. Fake out is going to launch in this slot. Good read on our end. And he gets a crit on the fake out. Get out of my face with that. And there's the Sucker Punch. So he's doubling down in this slot. That's totally fine. Oh no, you're going to, uh, into Salamence, which KOs me. Oh no. Oh no, and Tailwind's gone. And Tailwind's gone. So Tailwind, out of here. Can we win this match? I'm going to have to Sucker Punch into Palmot here. 
I really am. I'm gonna have to double down with Sucker Punch here. That that has to be my play. I have to Sucker Punch. So honestly, uh, Toxic Croak should be faster than King Gambit, correct? Yeah. So from here, we're gonna hope that our King Gambit's faster <laughs> than their King Gambit, which I don't know if it is. I doubt it. Speed's real low. So honestly, I think our best bet would just be instead of Sucker Punch, we just Iron Head this slot, but we Sucker Punch Palmot. If I could turn this into a 1v1 with King Gambit, that would be good. You end up withdrawing that slot. So that's actually a good call on our end. He withdraws that slot. And he's going to go into here because we're Iron Heading this slot. You're going to go in the Real Boom. So Real Boom comes out here. Another Fake Out user. He can Grass Guide. He's get some priority here as well. And Sucker Punch going to launch from my Tox Croak. And we're failing here. What are you going for? You Revival Blessing. No shot. Oh, no. You're going for Encore. Okay. So we went for Encore here. Iron Head's going to launch. It's going to do respectable damage. They can fake me out again. Um, I do get back a little bit of HP, so maybe we could soak a fake out. Maybe we could soak a fake out. Hmm. I think he wants to try to close combat me. Do we go for a sucker punch here? I still have Terra, though. I do still have Terra. Um, both Dark Terra. I think we Terrasalize you just in case he wants to get off that close combat. It won't be four times super effective. And maybe we can soak. But I'm going to do this and I'm going to drop Cow Attack Leave in this slot. Actually, I'm going to double down with Sucker Punch. I'm going to double down with Sucker Punch just in case he fakes out. So we're doubling down with Sucker Punch. He's going to withdraw Paul Mop, man. This is just like, it's a head game right here. It's a head game. So he's going to swap into King Gambit. Got him on 1 HP. I should have just count that cleave this slot. Luckily, he fakes out. We should soak. We do on 1. That's huge. I should have just count that cleave to All right. So now we're sitting here. Um, I'm cool with this. I mean, will Grass Guy come out beforehand? This is where things get real ugly. It's so where things get real ugly. I definitely want to Thrasalize, Kowtow, Cleave, and look for the KO onto you. So I'm going to do that, and if I can get off the Sucker Punch, I, I would like to. We're going to try to, at least. Let's try it. Got to give it a go. Got to give it a go. Let's see. Are they going to hard swap back into Palm? Might just have Fake Out again? If that's the case, I mean, I get off some nice damage with this uh, King Gambit. But this is a solid first match. I think, I think I'm just in my head right now, wanting to Sucker Punch. But I'm finally using my Terror type. I think last turn I should have just stuck with my gut and went cow attack leave. But I'm just so scared of like these uh, close combats and stuff flying through. Let's see. So we end up going into our terror type with dark. Sucker punch gonna launch and you are... What are you going for here? Sword stance maybe? Grass guy's gonna launch. He's gonna KO. What are, you, what are you going for here? That's that's my question. Because now it's turned into a 2v1. You're going for sword stance. Oh no. He's Sword Stance setting up. I should have just attacked it. Now, I mean, Grass God would have KO'd us regardless, and I'd rather get rid of this Roll Boom right here. So, Kathal Cleave gonna launch. And it doesn't pick up the KO. So, we're, everybody's on one HP here. This is just a rough match for me. Rough first match. Hate to say it, but that's where we're sitting. We could go for a Sucker Punch, but we're just gonna go for a Kathal Cleave in this slot. Look to KO their King Gambit, who's now plus two. He's probably going to protect here. If he protects, this is just awful for me. But still, this was just like... This was one of those matches where I was just in my head, right? Got all the Pokemon down to one HP. We're just trying to predict Sucker Punches. Because if we didn't, I mean... Palmont could just close combat and take that King Gambit and win the game. So, honestly, they played this one weird. We played this one weird. It's a weird match, but still, not over yet. They could hard swap into Palmont and we could pick up the KO here if we outspeed. And they go for Sucker Punch. Of course they go for Sucker Punch this turn. <laughs> How much damage is done? Because he's plus three. That's a nice chunk. And he's just going to Woodhammer. Yeah. He's outspeeding me regardless. So now it would have been the turn to Sucker Punch. And I didn't Sucker Punch. Unbelievable. Moving on to match number two. And this is our bounce back match. Went up against a lot of one HP bandits. And just a weird first match. Considering I was trying to Sucker Punch when they kept swapping out. And I was just in my head that match. So... 
just a weird one, but GG's to our opponent nonetheless. We're going up against Garchomp, Primarina, alongside with Cleavor, really dope off-meta Pokemon, with Murkrow, Mail and DD, and Archaludon, which we don't like. So Tashro honestly going to be pretty good here. We could lead it with, like, Green Politoed, but I'm thinking I'm just going to go Politoed and Salamence, because at that point, I could set up a Tailwind and really thrive with Hurricane. So that is something I do like. They could go into Murkrow as well, so we can go Tailwind for Tailwind. We'll bring Toxicroak late game, and last but not least, do we go Clefable? or pink gambit i'm kind of liking clefable more on the special attacking side and support so i'm gonna end up doing that let's go clefable here clefable especially because like archer Luan, that, that thing starts bulking up with like stamina boost oh man that can get real ugly real quick that can get real ugly real quick so we're, we just hope not we hope not but let's see what they end up leading here maybe it might be archer Luan. i'm probably gonna be murkrow hopefully it's not archer Luan. i really hate archer Luan. it's gonna be murkrow cleaver okay pretty cool not bad. We don't mind it. We don't mind it. So we could terrestrialize our dragon if we want to. Um, Intimidate's going to actually affect this cleaver, which is great news. And I think we just go Tailwind for Tailwind. Is that our play? Tailwind for Tailwind. And we rock a Weather Ball in this slot. And terrestrialize Steel. I'm with it. I'm I'm with it. Nice little Steel Tower here. They might end up hard swapping cleaver, but still. Someone's going to have to take a Weather Ball in the rain. Which is nice damage for us. So I'm going to terrestrialize into Steel. I really don't feel like dealing with, you know, a stone axe flying through here and doing a ridiculous amount of damage. That'd just be, that'd be, uh, that'd be, that'd be ugly. That'd be real ugly. But you probably also have close combat, which I gotta watch out for. There's that sunny day comes through. Oh, man. Ah, dang sunny day. At least we got off the tailwind. They get the stagger tailwind turns. We're gonna get a fire <laughs> weather ball. How much damage is this bad boy doing? Does good damage. Nonetheless, does good damage. There's Stone Axe. She ended up soaking pretty well. And I mean, he's going to set up a Tailwind this next turn. Definitely setting up Tailwind this next turn. I'm just going to get Weather Ball here. And honestly, I should just protect. I should just protect Salamence. Because I think they go for, like, Tailwind close combat here. So let's just protect this turn. And then just get rid of Cleaver and then maybe swap Polly to the turn after. There's a Tailwind, yep, we've seen this coming. This gotta be close combat, right? This has got to be close combat. There it is. There it is. Nice little read on our end. Nice little protect. Not gonna lose you, Salamence. Luckily, Weather Ball still thriving. Still thriving out in the sun. We don't need the rain. Bye-bye, Cleaver. Get it on out my face. All right. So now we're sitting here. Murkrow's on the field. Murkrow's a Pokemon that I don't really want to worry too much about. I understand it has, like, weather control. And it's, like, taking away the sun. Or taking away the rain from us. But when it's on the field, it doesn't really do too much damage, especially up against special attackers. Now, Garchomp's going to come out here. This Pokemon's a bit scarier. And I think from here, now it's a good turn for us to just hard swap out and maybe go into, like, Clefable. We'll go into Clefable. I will try to rip a Draco Meteor because it would be awesome to land a Draco Meteor here. And we'll have our Rain Squad with Politoed and Toxicroak for late game. Okay. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. So there's the Fable. Stone's going to point into it, but no big deal. Draco Meteor's going to launch from our Salamence. We're going to say bye-bye to this guard child. I think Salamence outspeeds. That's huge. So Salamence picking up KOs. Salamence picking up KOs all day here. We got Clefable on the field. What are you going for, Murkrow? Foul play, maybe? What are you, yeah, you're going to go for foul play into my Clefable slot? Negative five damage. Negative five damage. So honestly, a win Rocky Helmet's going to help us out. So honestly, I mean, swapping Salamence is probably the right play here. Let's just see who they have. It's going to be Arch Ludon. You're a scary little customer. I kind of want to deal with you last. So, you know what? We're just going to do this. And... And, yeah, we're just going to hard swap into... Mm, my special attack's dropped right now. I'm just hard swapping into Polytoad. I mean, like... Did we give him the rain, though? It's the only problem here. I mean, he's probably going body press into this slot, so... I'd rather just swap Salamence to get my stats back, more importantly, because, like, a special attacker up against Archelon is really good, so... I want my stats back. I don't want to be minus two. The stone's gonna point into me a little bit. Rain's gonna start. Sun's gone. And we're gonna see a Terra type pop out here from Archeludon? No way, you're- no way you're Terrasalized a Murkrow. Okay, cool. So Archeludon is gonna get the Terra type. It is gonna go straight water, which is... It's okay for me. I mean, it's nothing crazy. If you want to start boosting his stats, I mean, I can always haze it, haze it away. But out comes foul play. We're going to be able to soak that, no problem. Iron defense going to bulk up. Yeah, we're going to have to haze that up. 
Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to knock that off. That's gonna that's gonna ha that's gonna have to stop. Moonblast gonna bring you down to one, which really sucks. I do get a special attack drop, but Tailwind is gone, so we're gonna waste out Tailwind here. Um, I think follow me and just like a Weather Ball to finish off Murkrow is gonna be the play. And then, I mean, if you want to iron defense up again, we'll just follow me and haze it away. That's why haze is so good. Like haze is ridiculously good. I said I said that in the beginning of, of the video. I said haze is just so good in this format, and it's gonna work really good here. So. Right now, we're just going to look to get rid of this Murkrow. Just so we don't have to deal with, like, any of it, its stuff. I'd rather turn this into a 4v1 situation. And it's going to pop Sunny Day. Like, we don't need rain that much. We really don't. The rain helps us out, but we don't need it that much. And there's the other Iron Defense. So this works out exactly how I want it to. This works out exactly how I want it to. Him to go for another Iron Defense. Us Weather Ball. Now, next turn, we can just follow me. And we can haze. We can follow me haze. Follow me haze. Follow me haze. Because, yeah, the, 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 the whole problem here is this thing just setting up. It really is. But now we're just going to go for follow me. We'll keep Politoed alive. We will haze. We will get rid of all stat changes. And chances are, after I use this haze, they probably either turn off their console or run this match. I might I might just predict that now. So there's Body Press. We soaked that no problem, which is awesome. And you're going to take more damage from Rocky Helmet. And haze comes out of here. So there's the haze. Are we going to see the old console turn off? No, they're definitely just going to cancel match, though. They're definitely just going to cancel match. Zach comes out here. Um, I think now we just go for a Thunder Wave. We just throw a Paralyze on you. And I guess we try to do some sort of damage <laughs> into this slot. But I think it just cancel. No, they go for a Thunderbolt. And Wakanberry going to help us out. So Wakanberry coming across here. Half of that damage. Hopefully we can land a Thunder Wave. And Earth Power we're going to launch, which might not do anything crazy. And actually does do respectable damage. Special defense drop on top of that. That's huge. That's huge. This, this special attack drop's huge. Thunder Wave is going to land, and that's going to be game. That's going to be game, because now we outspeed. Now I can go for Earth Power, combine it with Moon Blast, and just finish off this Archer Ludon. So that's going to be GG's. What a match for us. Is that, is that a sweep? Yeah, we didn't lose anybody. We didn't use Toxic Croak, which I want to use Toxic Croak more in the third and final match. But yeah, that's going to be a sweep. So again, bounce back match in match number two. I love a good old bounce back match. So that's going to be game set match. They finally cancel it. One and one. Let's go hop into our third. Moving on to our final match for today's video. And this one is going to be so tough for us. I feel like this rain squad is just going to steamroll through us. But we definitely have a shot. Archer Ludon, definitely a big threat on their team. They got King Gambit just like us. They also have Salamence just like us. They also have uh, Amoongus, Pelipper, and Palafin as their final three. So I think us not going into Politoed really saves us a spot. So if they just want to go into the rain squad, that's fine. I think Salamence can be really good for us. Same thing with, like, Toxicroak, right? I mean, obviously, we have to watch out for, like, Hurricane on Pelipper. But I think Toxicroak is going to be good. So I'm going to go Toxicroak. I am going to go Salamence. I am going to go Rillaboom. And last but not least, do we go Fable for support? Fable wouldn't be bad. I mean, Fable's got Thunder Wave. It's got Moonblast. It's got Follow Me. And what's his last move? Protect? Is that what's cooking with? Helping Hand. Either that or I could go Politoed. I mean, Weather Ball Politoed with Earth Power. Protect, not bad. Ease. Mm, can't deal with Archer Ludon. I think I'd rather go Clefable here. I think I'd rather go Clefable. Just trying to look at their team. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go Fable. I mean, Fable is going to be super effective onto the Salamence as well. It can do some nice damage onto Archer Ludon. Again, just having another special attacker is just solid for us. So, and with the sheer fact that it ha it has followed me and it can paralyze, it, it's, it's just nice for us. But like I said, this one's gonna be tough for us. We are sitting one on one. Like I said in the last match, we did bounce back, grab ourselves our first victory for the video. But we're gonna end up seeing Archer Ludon and Pelipper fly out here. So, Archer Ludon Pelipper def definitely a scary group right here. Definitely a scary group. We do intimidate, which really does nothing. Um. They're going to set the rain, though, which is good for my Pokemon. Definitely good for my Pokemon. I think we just go into a Tailwind here. And while we can, we Terrasilize and we Drain Punch. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Let's see how much damage Drain Punch can do, because I could lose some HP here. I think they might go for Hurricane, or they could go for Tailwind. I maybe should have made the read that they're going for Tailwind first, because then I could have saved my Terror, because I think they're going to go Tailwind, then Hurricane. But, I mean, Hurricane still does big damage, and, I mean, Body Press can KO us here, too. But I'm hoping Drain Punch, we can at least like half HP on this Archer Ludon, because Archer Ludon's the main threat here, right? Let's be honest. But they end up hard swapping 
Caliper, which isn't bad. I mean, I'll take that. And you're going to go into Salamence of your own, so Intimidate going to do my Tosh Cook a little dirty. Nothing too much onto my Salamence, which is good. And out comes our Terra. So we might want to hard swap our, uh, our Tosh Cook this next turn. But Drain Punch is probably going to do like negative three. This is going to be bad for us. It's going to be real bad. <laughs> Minus one Tosh Kirk. Tailwind does fly, which is good news. They don't Terrasalize Arch Ludon, which we like. I'm really curious to see what Arch Ludon does. Drain Punch, yeah, mediocre damage. He's going to drop an Electro Shot. Stamina boosted. I mean, we could Drake a Meteor in that slot. He's going to Drake a Meteor me. Oh, no. We're going to drop out our Salamence. Uh-uh, that's not good. That's no bueno. Not good at all. So do I go Fable here? Gotta go Fable. Gotta go Fable and hard swap into our roll boom. So we go Fable here. I could Moon Blast you, but you're probably gonna Thrasalize into Steel. I'm gonna be honest with you, so I'm just gonna Moon Blast you. I'm gonna hard swap into roll boom. Get her stats back. You really Draco metered me. I was thinking that was going to happen too, but I was just like, I don't think it is though. Because I was just like, I chance are more so Electro Shot, just trying to boost her stats. But he just went right after it with the Draco Meteor. But the Intimidate Swap was really what made it, because I really wanted to like half damage on Archer Ludon, and then stay on the field with Toxic Croak and just Drain Punch again. But they might end up uh, Terrasalizing here. Which I think they're going to do on the Salamence. I think they just go Steal Salamence. It's just like a typical Terror type for Salamence. So I'm going to end up hard swapping you. I'm going to look to Moonblast and deal some damage on the Archer Ludon. I know it's going to be neutral, but still the damage should be pretty solid. So I get out Roll Boom here. And they're going to end up withdrawing Salamence on top of that, which is a solid swap. Go back into Pelipper. Is Paloops coming back out? Amoongus. So we know their whole team. And they end up withdrawing here. So they're going to go into Pelipper into this slot, which is... Alright, fine by me. Fine by me. Moonblast flies, chunks up great damage there. And I think from here we just go for another Moonblast and we fake out a Moongus this turn. I'm with that, because we just don't want him Rage Powder and I'd rather just get rid of Pelipper here. Alright. So fake out launches. Clefable, can you outspeed? I yeah, we still have Tailwind up, so we're going to be able to take out Pelipper. Pelipper, gone. So Pelipper, out of here. Rain is going to actually end in a little bit. This kind of hurts both teams. I mean, I got Dry Skin. Clefairy doing a little bit of work here. I might just want to start paralyzing Pokemon. So if they throw out like Arch Loot on here, might be our play to just, you know, get after him. Yeah, we're going to paralyze that bad boy. You are so getting paralyzed. I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. I am going to U-turn out of here. I really don't want to pop stamina too much with this thing. But I mean, Rage Powder could follow through here. I'd rather U-turn, get back out my Tasha Croak. They could end up hard swapping into Salamence here, which I would love the most. I would love for them to intimidate me right here, but they don't. The U-turn flies, it does respectable damage for a U-turn, for a non-stab U-turn. And it looks like they want to spore me here, which is a slight issue. It looks like they want to spore me because they didn't go for Rage Powder. Or they could Pollen Puff. I'm just like Flash Can here. But Thunder Wave is going to connect, which is pretty big for us. We don't have a Terra, but we have Tosh Cook back out on the field. So Electro Shot gonna fly into the Fable slot. There's no way they sent it into the Roll Boom. There's just no shot. There really is no shot. Now, do you have a chance of missing this? No. And Fable actually soaks rather well. And there's a Palm Puff, so HP recovery gonna go through the roof. Um. Hmm. As this thing's bulking up, I mean, we kind of have to get rid of this Amoongus first. We kind of have to get rid of this Amoongus first. So I'm just going to go into a Moonblast here in case they want to swap into... In case they want to swap into Salamence here, which would probably be a good call. Yeah, I'm just going to double down in the slot. I think they're going to swap into Salamence. Intimidate me again. Nope, they don't. But Poison Jab's going to fly and do respectable damage there. And of course you got the berry. Of course you got the berry. And hopefully Arch Ludon loses his turn to Paralyze. Arch Ludon is just so good. It really is. Moonblast going to launch. How much damage are we doing here? Mm. Mm. Not even... 
that's just ugly. And Flash kind of comes through here. Now we can just swap into Salamence and win this game. Yeah, so solid match on our opponent's hand. Just Archer Ludon's just so good. Like, he gets e elite in this format. Same thing with Amoongus. I mean, they're just too tough Pokemon to deal with. Especially, like, me recording videos. Like, I'm trying to use, like, off-meta Pokemon and off-meta teams. And it's just so tough when this is what you're going up against, right? Like, how am I really supposed to counter this? It's so hard. It's so hard, but still, I feel like we showcase this team as, as good as we possibly can. Um, I really do think they hard swap out here. I mean, we're going to try to, I mean, go for a wood hammer, I guess. It's going to do, like, negative five damage into whoever I use it into. <laughs> but I really do think they intimidate me here. I just have to go for a drain punch. I just have to. I kind of hope they don't. That'd be nice so I can keep my attack boost, but... Yeah, this is, this is real rough for us. This is just not good for us at all. <laughs> this is not good for us at all. So, yep, there's the withdrawal. The Intimidate's going to fly through here. And that pretty much wraps up the match. I was kind of hoping they did that last turn, which would have been great for us, because then I could have Moonblasted away. With a... With a what's called as well. With a Poison Jab. That would have gave us a shot at winning this game. Woodhammer, let's see how much damage it does. Yeah, like I said, negative six. Paper towel hit. Legit whacked this thing in the face with a paper towel. I did more damage to myself with recoil and... Uh, with recoil and, uh, what is it called? And Rocky Helmet. So, Stamina Boost comes out here. Flash Cannon's gonna connect. He's plus one. Tax Croak survives, but not looking good for your boy. Not looking good for your boy at all. Especially, like, Rillaboom's just doing nothing up against these guys. I was hoping they would bring, like, Palafin or something. But, I mean, good call on their end just to bring these really solid options. Yeah, like Archer Ludon's just he's 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 easily the best Pokemon in this uh format. Easily. Easily. I don't even know what to do here. I guess I gotta go for Woodhammer. And I guess I gotta hope for a crit with Drain Punch. That's it's really my only way out here. It's really my only way out here, and that's that's a smart play for them just to swap Toxic Crook. Or not Toxic Crook. Swap Salamence just so they can get off another Intimidate. But I'm really hoping we just crit up. Hoping the Poke guys can help us out a little bit, but there's the terror type. I was not hoping for that, but it, 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 this game was over a while ago. This game was over a while ago. So Grass Terra comes out here. A perfect Terra for us. Or for them, I should say. Yeah, GG's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this one after this. I'm gonna run this one, because look at this. Paper towel. Whack. Poison Jab could have been good, but... We would need a crit, more so than anything. I might as well go for the crit, right? Rain Punch, what are you doing here? Paper towel. <laughs> yeah, and you're gonna be a goner this Flash Gun. Flash Cannon's gonna say Night Night. Like, how did they make a Pokemon this broken? Oh, wait a minute! Hold up! Paralyze coming through. They're saying there's still a chance. Will you turn and Poison Jab and get a crit? I'm gonna stay in here. I'm gonna stay in here. Because you never know. RNG could go crazy. It could go crazy. And you go for Rage Powder instead of <laughs> the swap in. I thought you were gonna swap in. U turn's gonna actually come out here and we don't get the crit there. Can I get another Paralyze? That's the real question. Poison Jab, how much damage are you doing? Paper towels all around, dude. Flash Cannon finally lands. All right, I'm running this one. GG Torpo, we go one and two for today's video. As much as I want to use teams like this and use off meta squads, I'm in the master tier. So we're just going up against meta teams. So it's really tough for me to pick up wins. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying the content, even though we grabbed ourselves a losing record today. Trying to use Tox Kirk, this Pokemon, definitely off meta, definitely not as good as the meta Pokemon as you guys seen today, but still hopefully again, you guys enjoyed the content and I got to showcase Tox Kirk pretty well. So that's a plus, but guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.